Hi, I'm Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store, and I want to show you some fabulous stuff we just got in. Cantha cloth. Okay, so what is Cantha? First off, it's spelled K-A-N-T-H-A. Cantha. So, no, I don't have a list while I'm saying it, okay? <laughs> Second thing is, this is fabric out of kind of the... Uh, southeast region of Asia so India area and it is hand embroidered cloth what's beautiful about this is that you can tell that it's hand embroidered it's very textural and very um, handmade you can see I am wearing a scarf with it Ooh. Ooh, fancy right so I made this you need two-thirds of a yard for this two 12 inch pieces so pretty. I know isn't it gorgeous so you need two-thirds of a yard for this and then you have to cut off a little piece so with the little piece that I cut off look what I made a little bag it's a wee bag with this cute little charm look how cute this is Look at the Oops, little sorry. kitty. With the little kitty on there. Isn't that a beautiful little bag? And what I love about this, I have it stuffed already. It, I put stuff in there to make it. It's already lined. Okay, that's the back of the cantha. So let me tell you how this works. What can you use cantha for? You can use it for clothing like this, for jackets, a light jacket to go outside. You can use it for summer pants, you know, the big flowy kind of pants that you can go out with. You can use it for that. You can just hem it and make a table runner out of it or even a whole cloth quilt. How it's made is two pieces of fabric put together. Um, this one right here, the top of it is pieced. You can see the little stitching right there where it is actually pieced. So this isn't all printed in, in whole cloth. It's uh, it's pieced together and it's also a light fabric, kind of like a double gauze, like a gauze fabric. Then you get a plain piece and your printed piece and you put them together. Can you see where it is separated right here? Look, you can kind of see, oh, I'm trying to get my fingernail in there. Can you see where it is separated? So two pieces of fabric. And look, you can tell how sheer that top one is because you can see my finger underneath it. And then the ladies or the people who do this sit here and stitch back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all the way along the length of the cloth, which in this case is eight yards. And at the end on the selvages where the selvages normally are look at the beautiful embroidery stitches they did now this is done with the pearl cotton how do you sew with this you cut it up the same way as you do regular cotton fabric and you just stitch with it the same way like you do regular cotton fabric so you don't have to do anything special to it. You don't have to treat it any differently. I'll give you a little hint when I, uh, I'll give you some hints when I show you the blouse. This is the beautiful Cantha, reversible. You don't even have to add anything to this. It's already got a beautiful back color, backing color, beautiful selvages. Like I said, it's ready to go. Look at this one in beautiful black with multicolors. You can see where they stop stitching right there. See what I mean? This is really handmade. And the back, look how pretty, look at this hem right here on the selvages. Beautiful, right? So this is one whole cloth here. It is not pieced. The top is not pieced, just the back is. <coughs> excuse me so how beautiful is all of this gorgeous so what would you do with it I've seen upholstery done with it I have seen the clothing done with it I have seen quilts made with it if you need for instance three-eighths of a yard to make something then you cut three-eighths of a yard of this it's the same width and just cut it up like regular yardage it adds that extra texture and that extra extra that extra uh, <laughs> design to your quilt treat it just like a regular piece of fabric when you wash it wash it on cool 
and dry it on low and you will love it. It's going to get softer and softer. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. We've got them in store now. Um, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And you need to come by and come and get some, or at least come pet it over here. So this is Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. And we hope you'll come on by to see the Kenta cloth. Okay, bye.